Irma Fox. Marma Davidson. Davidson, I apologise. I really apologise. Thank you, Mr Speaker, whose name is Trevor Mallard. <laughs> Kia ora. Uh, I want to stand and strongly support my, my wonderful Tamaki Makaurau colleague Penny Hinari and this Customs and Excise uh, Amendment Bill, which basically seeks to prohibit the importation of products and stop getting them in here and that have been made in whole or in part by slave labour. And one of the one of the I want to actually pick up on um, uh, my colleague Reno Tirakatini's um, uh, where on earth are my words, Mr Speaker? On the on the concept of New Zealand as leaders of the global world. Um, because because Absolutely, um, the, the products and the, the type of work that we are trying to prohibit definitely impacts on Indigenous people around the world. And so New Zealand can and should, we are well placed, of all the nations, we are well placed to stand up and say we do not accept what part we play in oppressing workers around the world. We do not accept that as a country and we are well placed to do that because we don't need to accept those products that are oppressing entire communities, entire nations around the world, including indigenous peoples and communities, including poorer communities. Uh, and as an indigenous rights spokesperson for the Green Party, I am pleased to stand up and support the bill on that notion including. Um, I want to go back to uh, some of what um, my colleague across the, on the national benches was just saying around the difficulties of the law. What's important? What is important? So this is a human rights, this is a human rights leadership legislation. And we have to keep taking these steps to uphold New Zealand as a, as a country that upholds human rights. And this is what is important about this bill. So the very notion of putting this legislation in place makes several statements which are incredibly important. It makes the statement that we will not stand for people being oppressed in terrible working conditions, being paid little or nothing, being kept in really oppressive conditions to produce these products, we will not stand for that. But by doing that, by passing this bill, it is actually about the community discussion that will follow. It is about the community discussion that will follow, the discussion which did follow when the Belgian and US legislation similar to this bill were, was put in place. And that is actually what is also important. So we can argue the, the definitions of slavery, and we, and we should. We can argue the details of the bill, and we should. But the principle and the leadership uh, which will then be followed by the community discussion on what we uphold as, as the direction for our world to, to go in is what is important. So that community leadership is what uh, I wanted to also touch on, as well as uh, being a spokesperson for Indigenous peoples around the world and for changing the power relationships changing the power rate relationships and upholding that the world where that keeps a few people really comfortable and a whole lot more, a whole lot more literally breaking their backs to keep a few people really comfortable is not a world that this nation, Aotearoa New Zealand, uh, stands up for and supports. And we want that to change. We want that to change. And that is an important that is an important step for New Zealand to make. And also because we have prided ourselves as a, a, a human rights upholding country. We have prided our membership in the human rights, uh, in the United Nations as a human rights state. We have done all of these things. So this is an important bill and one that I'm very happy to support. Uh, the, last, the last point I wanted to pick up on, how much time I got? Just under a minute. Okay, <laughs> I just wanted to. I just wanted to pick up on. Um, it has been raised 
by the government benches about the difficulty of tracing back to see whether products have been made by slave labour. And I just, um, in my research, there are ways, there are steps that we can actually take to do that. We, we can make proactive steps that aren't always mandatory that can help things around social labelling systems, for example. We can support uh, the community and the industries taking those steps as well. So I just wanted to um, finish up with support indigenous and poorer working class communities, uh, upholding our human rights uh, reputation in this country, and getting through the practical challenges. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. David Bennett.